Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Popular singer gets six surprise from Libs after honor of performing at White House on 4th of July. It's great to see that not everyone in the entertainment industry is an unhinged liberal these days. Jax, who is an American Idol 14th season finalist, has been presented with the opportunity to perform at the White House on the 4th of July, and she has made it very clear that even though she expects a backlash from her fellow liberals in the industry, she is honored to accept this once in a lifetime opportunity. She also told TMZ that he finds it very sad that people these days can separate politics from patriotism because she herself is very patriotic. To her, her upcoming performance is all about honoring the country that she loves so much and her family since her younger brother is a Marine and her dad was a 9-11 first responder. She went on to say it's not at all about POTUS. Liberals were quick to condemn her. Despite the hate, she's sticking to her plan. Jax will be joined by fellow American Idol contestant Johnny Brands and country music superstar Sarah Evans for a July 4 evening event concert on the South Lawn of the White House. President Trump and First Lady Melania along with some of the Trump family will be in attendance. Here is more on Jax via the morning call. After bleached blonde girl power singer Jax finished third on American Idol in 2015, it seemed the sheer force of her would eventually would make her a star. Shortly after the Idol summer tour, Jax seemed on her way to blazing her own trail, defiantly releasing a single, La La Land, last January that seemed to be a harsh indictment of the very show on which she had just competed. But the East Brunswick, New Jersey, native, born Jacqueline Cole Miss Kenick, seemed to quickly vanish from the music scene. Turns out it wasn't rejection by the industry that shut down Jax. It was her own body. Last spring, amid battles of exhaustion and other maladies, Jax was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, a type of hypothyroidism, then quickly found to have 18 tumors on her thyroid, 12 of which tested positive for CR. American Idol will be cancelled after its 15th season. A number of reasons, including not-so-hot ratings, various competition and new blood might have been contributing factors. Don't worry, Twitter users chimed in with their thoughts. The Times' Christy Kosheba has the details. After surgery to remove her thyroid and radiation treatments, Jax now is not only back on the mend, but also back on the road to where idle viewers expected. On Monday, she'll play a free concert in Easton Center Square as part of a build-up to the January 27th release of her solo debut EP, Funny. Opening will be magician J.D. Sarantakos of the A&E show Mind Freak. Oh man, the pressure's on. The singer says laughing, in a recent phone call from Brooklyn, after being told how Easton's downtown will be closed for her concert. The 21-year-old Jax says her new disc essentially chronicles the past year of her life. I think it takes you through my journey, what I was going through, like, relationship-wise and what I was going through health-wise with my own kind of sarcastic, Alanis Morissette girl power twist on it she says. So hence the title, Funny. That's clearly reflected in the first single, Stars, which she readily admits came from her desire to tell fans what she went through emotionally after her diagnosis, realizing you can appreciate the light in life without going through some dark times, she says. I wrote that in LA with Nash Overstreet from, pop group, Hot Shell Ray and, producer, Sydney Tipton, who were super amazing, she says. I had just come out about my story and my battle with cancer this year so it was a very emotional time for me, I think, just to talk about it. And they were the first people I decided I was going to sit down and write with. They were just really cool, like, Jax, tell your story, because I know you're, like, afraid to talk about it and all this stuff, and it's a touchy subject. But there are so many people out there that are going through what you're going through and not even just with their health, in general going through a dark time. And you're put here on this planet to help them get through it. Especially through music. So I used my voice for a good and we wrote. And finally it was like a turning point in the writing process, I think, and in my year. Because it was like the moment I could finally speak about it through music. And it was definitely therapeutic for me, I think. If all celebrities were like this the world would be a much nicer and saner place, don't you agree? People these days sadly just can't seem to be able to love their nation as they dislike the president. Us on the right continued being patriotic even though we had a president for eight years that we clearly knew was a danger to our republic and everything she stands for. The left just can't seem to be able to do the same now since they have this deep-seating illogical hate towards President Trump just because he believes in America and Americans first, a concept we have lost sight of in recent years. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, 
and subscribe. Thank you.